Hello friends, welcome back to SQL with Manoj. Today I'm going to talk about detaching and attaching a SQL database in SQL Server. So there are times when you would want to detach a database and move it to some other file or move it to some other server and attach it there. So the reason may be, you know, your disk is full where, you know, your database is currently stored and you would want to, you know, give more room to the database and move it to a to, to another drive. Another reason could be you want the database to be copied or moved to some other server. Okay, so so at that point of time, what you can do is you can detach the database, move the MDF and LDF files of the database to an another server or an another file system or another drive. Okay, so uh, I'll go here in SSMS and create a new database for you. So I'll just create a new database and put it in the its default location. So the new database is let's say new database and if you you know just expand it and see the scroll towards this side you will see you know the path is C drive. So the best practice is to keep these data files other than C drive while creating a new database itself. So let's say if you have created you know by default in C drive okay and did observe this. So how can you move them to an another drive later point of time. Right. So this is a new database. Okay. Let me refresh the database. Okay. So here you'll get a new database, right? So if I go here and see properties, I'll see the same uh, location of the files in C drive, right? Uh, I'll expand this and here you can see it is C drive, right? So now uh, how you can move this database to another file or another server, right? What you can do is you can right click, go to task and there is an option called detach okay so once you do detach you have an option to click ok and cancel and I would like to tell you one more way to detach it so one way is to detach the database by this GUI window another way is to create a script okay of this database so here are a few options you know while you need to detach the database it is uh, uh, drop connections and it is update statistics so by default this is this is on and drop connection so let's say if people or users are logged into this database and using this database so it's better to drop the connections because if the people are still logged in you would not be able to detach the database right so one option is to click ok another option is to go via script I'll show you both the options so for now what I'll do is I'll um, create the script so this will create the script to detach the database okay uh, in a new query window so this won't be detaching the database but it will be creating a script in SSMS here so it will just it will just take a moment in the background you can see you know uh, this database script has been created by SQL server okay so it is alter database new database set database to a single user mode with rollback immediate so this option is to you know log off all the users by uh, you know changing the SQL server to a single user then another script is to you know SP detach DB and the database name is this okay so let's go ahead with the first option that is you know this GUI I'll click OK and you would see this new database will disappear from here okay let me click refresh okay see this database has gone now what I'll do is I'll move to the database location Okay, so it is my C drive and program files and you expand it is SQL server MS SQL 13 dot MS SQL server this is the version then MS SQL then ask me permission I'll click continue and you will see you know this new database file new database files are here so these are the two files this one is the MDF file you know where your database data is stored and this is the log file where the transaction logs are stored so simply what I'll do is I'll copy them okay and I'll move them to a, a new location okay so I'll open a new window explorer and let's go to D drive and there is a SQL folder here I'll put them here okay and this is like paste okay now I'll minimize it and I'll try to again now I'll try to attach the database back so just right click on the database and click on attach 
okay so by for attaching it will give you this window here you can click on add by clicking on add it will go to the default location from where we you know moved the files and now I'll move to D drive and the SQL folder you will get the MDF file so here it won't show you the LDF file because by default you know the LDF file gets picked up click OK you know so here if you choose the MDF file the LDF file also gets uh, you know picked up now here you will see this is the current path okay okay now before clicking OK what I'll do is I'll try to you know again generate the script okay so I'll just click on this and a new script to you know attach the database will be created here so you can see here this is the attached database script that is create database the new database and it will use the file names this is the MDF file name and this is the LDF file name and the option is for attach so it will not create a new database but it will create a database by using these MDF files and the option is for attach okay so uh, let's go with the GUI approach okay I'll click OK okay so you can see here the new database is again attached here right and if I'll go to here properties it will show me that the new database has been you know using the files present in D drive okay so here now it will it shows that the files are in D folder okay now what we'll do is we'll again detach and attach this database not by uh, the GUI but by using custom scripts that we created while uh, you know doing this operation just now so this is the script to detach a database first of all what I'm doing is I'm altering the database I'm you know changing the database to single user from a multi-user mode so that all the users can be logged out except me okay after this is successfully done let me execute this one by one okay after this is done what I'll do is I'll detach the database so for detaching the database you have to use this SP underscore detach DB uh, system SP name and the first parameter is the database name that you want to detach okay and this is an another option okay so let's execute this okay so here it says that okay query execution successful and if I go here and refresh it this new database is disappeared it won't appear now because I've detached it okay now let's again you know let's go ahead and you know try to uh, you know again attach the database but now not here in this uh, location I'll you know move it to this particular location okay so here again uh, there is a SQL flow folder or so again you know I'll create a new folder uh, I'll put new DBs and what I'll do is I'll copy the database files from this SQL folder from D drive SQL folder to E drive new DBs folder okay paste so now my files are here so this is the MDF file and this is the log file LDF file so you have to take care of you know both these files while copying now I'll change it to E and SQL to new DB so my database name is new DBs new DBs I'll copy and paste it okay and simply what I have to do is uh, create database the name of the database okay similar to the MDF files and I have to just provide the file names and use this option for attach okay and simply execute it right okay so it is giving me an error that you know unable to open the physical file E operating system error access denied okay so here what I have to do is uh, I have to go to this E drive and right click on this and go to properties and uh, you know um, just give just go to the security permissions and you know uh, click on my uh, user and you can see here there is no full control and modify right so I have to just edit it and give full control okay to, to the authenticated users as well as the my current user okay so and click on apply and click on ok so as soon as I give this you know uh, elevated access and you know all these access rights I'll have this permission to use the files in SQL Server via my user uh, for these files and you know this create database and this uh, system script will simply execute so just try to execute it okay and it says command completed successfully and if you refresh it your again new database will appear here again okay so this is you know a very simple approach to detach and attach databases
and by using this feature you can easily move your files to different drives or different servers or different file systems okay thank you very much for watching this video please stay tuned for more videos please subscribe and thank you very much have a nice day thank you